forward to hearing about work from different fields, like to get some updates on what's happening in neuroscience and meet some people who might be interesting to collaborate with or like work with in the future. Just learning new things about like something that I'm not necessarily working on but seeing different fields and really trying to find where is uh, neuroscience uh, going. I always come to the symposium because I can see what the, the cutting edge of, of scientific research is in neuroscience. And, uh... um, I'm an engineer. I, I work in telecommunications for many years. I'm trying to reach different areas and bring knowledge from different areas try to fill some gaps. The work I do uh, looks at the intersection between philosophy and neuroscience. And in particular... Hey, so my lab tries to understand how the brain encodes, stores, and forms memories. We think, you know, how you can use information is a real key goal in, in neuroscience. One of the talks were things that I was interested in uh, last night, well, particularly last night hearing Moser's talk about grid cells, but I was wanting to hear more about how grid cells fit in with our understanding of, of animal navigation more generally, and I feel like I kind of he filled that in, so now I think I understand why you got the Nobel Prize now. Oh, I really like the talk um, about um, social um, interaction and how it's important that, that not only how a, a species um, sends out sounds, but how they how they um, hear sounds and uh, fruit fly courtship behavior, and it was just an amazing talk to hear. Really good question. It seems like lots of people are working with electron microscopy, trying to develop like big, like large scale maps, and I think it would be interesting to see like how people keep using that in the future. In the near future, we'll be able um, to understand how information is coded in the brain, we'll be able to manipulate this information and we'll be able to hopefully help some people. So understanding how the brain encodes memories is going to be really important going forward. As you know, we have an aging population everywhere in the world. There's more and more neurodegenerative diseases that have a lot of memory problems. And to understand and to really sort of get some new treatments for these diseases, it's really important to understand how memories are formed, sort of the basic studies, and that way we can apply this very basic knowledge to try and treat human diseases. I don't think we're there yet, but I think that's the real challenge and the real goal of most people doing basic science. necessarily directed to one specific topic but like a bit more broad on the whole uh, neuroscience field. I'm amazed by how much I learn at each and every talk that the organizers put together a really amazing symposium. This is an amazing building, it's a really good um, conference center and the quality of the speakers and the posters are really good so yes I'm looking forward to coming back to this week.